Hey, Gemini, happy Wednesday. Welcome back to Tarot by Cherie. I hope all of you are doing well today. We're going to get started right away on your Wednesday reading and see what spirit has for you. All right, first card up, guys, is intuition. So you guys are using your intuition regarding things going on in the background that are unknown, okay? So these things have to do with money and abundance here okay now i just did a similar reading for aquarius about money and abundance and you guys it looks like celebration is going to be in order you're using your intuition on this and if you're not guys start using it this is the most powerful power that you carry is your intuitiveness this is a gut feeling, guys. Start tuning into the energies around you, all right? There's a lot of masculine energy around us uh, today. This is loving, protective energy, and there's a lot uh, Spirit is telling us about finances today. So here I'm seeing for a lot of my Geminis, this want, this desire to start over and have a fresh new life because you're tired of this and this and this. This is, you know, you're carrying this heavy burden around on a daily basis. This is like so many decisions having to be made. And, you know, regarding this card is bad, guys. This is like some kind of like things not going your way. Uh, trickery, deceitfulness. You might just be feeling this way, like this is what life is showing you right now. You might be feeling just, you know, some kind of deceitfulness with, you know, everything that's going on in the world right now. All right. But over here, they're showing that with this new beginning, there's something, you know, there's things you guys want that you're not able to access just yet. All right. Here is the manifestation card, though. And they're showing that you're absolutely able to manifest this abundance, okay? There is money that is going to be coming into you. This is the giving card, the financial giving card, all right? You are going to be moving toward a different timeline where money and abundance is going to come easily to you okay and you're not gonna have to hold on to your finances possessively anymore all right this feeling of judgment and feeling wow gemini you're going through it and you might be going through it today for the same reason that i think my aquas are going through this uh depression and feeling you know just ignored and just having all this judgment going through your head about everything in your life right now all right and i think it's because that the mortgage and rent is due and this is a big chunk of your money so this is the time of the month where you know this takes a lot out of you because of you know it's just a, a big chunk of your money all right but spirit is saying don't let this get you down. Guys, this is going to get a little worse before it's going to get better. So you need to be very strong right now. Put yourself first. Put yourself on a pedestal. All right. You know, I'm going to do another video for my Aquas and try to help them out with finances here. Because those of you who are truly struggling, all right, at this time, there are things that you can do to lower your bills. Okay. And these things... um you may not want to do, they're not very appealing, but they're going to help you tremendously. And even if you go to a food pantry, maybe once a month, if not once a week, um, you can, you know, get a lot of help, especially if you have kids, they don't charge, they'll give you milk and cereal, sometimes they have meat, um, there's a lot of, you know, canned goods and things. Um, I've had to do it a couple times when my kids were young and I was a single mother. There's no shame in it, guys, all right? Go get the help you need, whatever it's going to take. There's programs. There's programs out there that you can apply for that you may not think you would get because, but, but you know, realistically, some of these programs, you can make a decent amount of money and they will help you still. So overturn every rock, Okay. The biggest thing is the big bill in most households come from, you know, these uh, bundles, you know, well, bundle your phone, your TV and your cell phone 
and these can be upwards of you know close to two hundred dollars and more for these bundles guys get yourself the uh the fire stick get you know you don't need a house phone anymore you have a cell phone get rid of that giant bill um you know and it does seem overwhelming and giant when you're struggling financially all right i have uh amazon prime i get prime movies i pay an extra i don't know Thirteen dollars. I get uh, everything gets shipped to me for free that I order from Amazon. Plus, I get all these free movies. Plus, you know, I get you know, all uh, hundreds and hundreds of channels, and I paid an extra eight bucks a month for a movie channel. And I don't even watch these movies. Like, you, you know, there's so many channels that you get. Like, it's it's crazy. So. There's a lot you can do financially to lower your bills, guys. Um, you know, at 6 o'clock at night, you know, these things I'm suggesting you may like or dislike. It's up to you what you choose to do. But all my lights go out at 6 o'clock. I turn my TV on. You know, I get into relaxation mode. Um, you know, I have a night light or two in the hallway and around the house. I have some really cool, like, uh, small lights that I put on that don't use up too much electricity. And, you know, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of things that you could do if you put, set your mind to it and really, you know, think about all your bills, what you're paying. And, uh, you know, also you don't need some big Verizon or, or T-Mobile, you know, $80 a month for your cell phone. Um, I use Bo Boost and, I never have any issues or problems with my phone. Not an issue, not a problem. I don't drop calls. Um, there's really no issue and it's like 50 bucks. And the only reason it's that much is because I get, you know, unlimited video usage, you know, bandwidth or what have you. So yeah, I mean, there's a lot of ways you can kick back here. All right, get back to the reading guys. I'm seeing a lot of you are going through it, right? Put yourself on a pedestal. Cut back on these bills and take $20 and, and buy yourself that bottle of wine on the weekends, that six pack of beer. Go get some, go get your nails done once a month. Uh, go get a massage once a month. You deserve it. Put yourself on a pedestal. And if you don't want to spend the money, there's a lot of little things you could do around the house for yourself to boost your morale, to make yourself feel good, to nurture and love yourself, guys. Put yourself first. All right, I'm seeing this Ace of Swords here. This is uh, getting clarity. Get clarity on all these things, guys, all right? Because they're going to make a difference. All right, here I'm picking up on a masculine who is very intelligent. Um, I'm seeing some kind of communication coming in for you regarding something that has to do with a move or someone in your circle who lives uh, a distance away you're going to get some kind of information and this information is going to make you feel um like confused for a little while okay like like you're being pulled um to do something that maybe you secretly want to do but it's going to disrupt your life all right here i'm seeing this um offer coming in for this other masculine this king of wands this is somebody different and this also has to do with your abundance okay i'm seeing an offer coming in for you um you've been for the most part feeling defensive but you need to work on your strength spirit is saying there's things that you want and to get these things you need to draw on your strength okay to manifest in these things this is the offer coming in, having something to do with abundance. And I think that, you know, it's going to take a, a good amount of strength for you to be able to get manifesting here because you need to raise your vibration to do so. All right. I'm seeing somebody. All right. I'm seeing somebody who, who is needing rest. Okay, you're feeling left out in the cold financially. So maybe you're just going through so much stress lately that you literally need this rest to, to get some healing. Okay, to just get some downtime. All right, I am seeing your happiness coming back into play for you. I'm seeing this feeling of being free of something that's been burdening you 
once you get this downtime, all right? So when you're doing that downtime and you have time to yourself, you have time to think, you have time to heal and relax and your mind will become clearer and you will have these epiphanies on what you need to do to change things that are going on in your life that are making you feel destroyed right now. I'm picking up on this Queen of Wands, okay? And I'm seeing a financial offer coming in for you. Here's the Knight of Pentacles bringing in this financial offer. This financial offer is nothing small. And it's it's actually huge. And it's bringing in this Ten of Pentacles, which is a lot of money, Gemini. Again, we're, we're talking about finances a lot here, okay? Finances that are bringing in complete contentment and lots and lots of of celebration in your family this is another celebration card it's covering okay so they're saying that whatever this is whatever this offer is that will be coming into you is going to be absolutely mind-boggling it's going to be that big that huge all right and it's going to end this this feeling that you've had of just being stuck in your life it's coming to an end all right, Gemini, that is the reading. I'm going to end it on this note. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. And until next time.